All right, we are back. Part three, Shaw Money. Shaw, you still with us? Yes, sir. I'm oh, here. All right, all right. Now we were, we were talking about the game, but I got I got some other questions that I know my listeners want to want to hear. When Shaw Money's looking for an artist to work with and take under the wings, what traits do you look for? Is it MySpace hits? Is it you know what I'm saying? Emails. I mean, you know what what are you looking for now, especially in this digital age? First and foremost, I, I'm not, you know, I'm, the, I'm never a BDS A&R type of guy. I mean, I see a whole lot of labels that's all they chase is BDS. I look for quality, performance, and perfection. You know, a person has to have real good songs, like quality. Their voice has to be incredible, something that you can hear over and over again. Not just one song, not just the guy that needs to be in the group. He needs to be able to carry his own. Um, he needs to get up on stage, be personable. Whether he's doing interviews, being personable, knowing how to answer questions and maneuver through things and have interesting conversations. So that's that's about um performance. Um, perfection, I mean you gotta treat this like a like it was your new bench, man. You wanna clean your car every day, keep the interior good. So you gotta be in the motherfucking your best health, best shape, best mental me- mental health, period. So it's a lot that comes with just the artist, the person who they are and how they look and all of that is important to what you want to ship and package to this world. Mm. I mean, it's real important, you know? Uh, you ain't gotta be fucking Chippendale rapping nigga, but you, you definitely gotta be mentally and physically com- in the right frame, you know what I mean? So, it's just a lot that goes with that. And then after that, it's about the reception with the music. But if you pass all of those, then I'm ready to ship you out, then I'll take the risk with you. Mm. And that's incredible, Sha. I've never... This is really great for everybody to listen to. Because now you've brought up about three times. Working out, taking care of yourself. And then when you listen to the music, it's smoking weed, drinking syrup. You know what I'm saying? So that's interesting. What do you, what do you got to say about that? Yeah, but there's a million of those rappers, right? Mm-hmm. That's why I all their record sales and it still didn't hit one of 50 Cent's albums. <laughs> T.I.'s whole career is equal in one of 50's albums. Not to discredit T.I. because he's one of my favorites in the South. You know what I mean? Rick Ross only went gold twice. Mm. That's, a, that's a single for 50. You know what I'm saying? So, it's just, you got to compare the whole the whole shit. You know what I mean? You got guys coming in with one album popping shit like they've been here in this game since the 90's. Mm. So, it's, I mean, it's a lot that goes with it, man. And, and like I said, man, you know, like I said, man, the proof is in the pudding, man. Look at the, the, the lives these people are living. You, 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 if you look at them, wealth, being rich and being wealthy is two different things, man. Mm-hmm. A lot of dudes in this industry, they feel rich right now, but they're not wealthy. So at any given moment, they will be fucked up, man. And, and, and 50 has acquired wealth, so I can speak highly on that because it's, it's something that, you know, even MC Hammer, all that money he made, people sit at tables and tell us, yo, don't spend your money. You, got, you know, you get mad if you going out spurging crazy. He's in this for the, for the, for the long run, not just for now. Mm. That's Which incredible. Is important, man. That's true. That's real true. That, that, that's a great point, too. Now, do you feel that the internet, the MySpace, the Facebook... The pure volume has, it's obviously oversaturated the market for artists and producers. Do you see that as a good thing or is that healthy for music in general? How do you see that? I mean, honestly, it's not good because it's just too much. <laughs> it, went to, it, it went from a phase of hip hop where you literally had to be co signed by another rapper. Daisy was co signed by Jazz, Queen Latifah brought in Naughty by Nature. Um, the, Question by De La Soul. Everybody had to get co signed. Bust the rhymes through that whole native tongue movement. Like, you still want love in public enemy. Everyone had to get co signed. Now it's just this industry where nobody is validating nobody. They're making records, they're shipping out records saying it's a 50 cent single. They're clicking it as Soldier Boy. He done made a smart way to get in. You know, it's like, there's so much. That honestly is overwhelming for someone who really wants to listen and care. Um, and they don't know how to find out what's hot no more. They, they'd rather see the person with the song and the dance. They might as well put the fucking 
fucking mud on your face after that, you know? <laughs> so, it's like, if you don't come with a song and a dance, thank you, like, or, or some shit, it, it, it's like, it's not cracking. Mm. Now, I'm New York, and I'm a B-boy. That's for sure. No doubt about that. Now, as I don't got to tell you, Sha, but the music industry obviously is totally changing, but what gets you excited every morning when you wake up about the digital transformation that we we are all experiencing? What what gets you excited about the new opportunities right now for producers, for artists, for executives like yourself? Please. I'm sorry. I got interrupted. Can oh, no. Nope. No problem. My pleasure. And I just want to let the scope scope listeners know this is this is as real as it gets, is it not, Sha? I mean, <laughs> I mean, this is as real as it gets. We're catching Sha on a Thursday night, okay? And let let me hit you with that question one more time. The music industry is is totally changing. What gets you excited about the digital transformation that we're that we are all experiencing? Uh, what gets me excited? Um, good question. Um, let's see, what gets me excited? I mean, the fact that you don't need real, um, distribution channels, you know? You ain't gotta wait on nobody to sign you some big deal and all that. You can go work out a deal with Orchid and, uh, you know, in grooves and get right to where you need to get to, you know? And sell your music. Hmm. That, 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 I mean, it's just, it's just a, a quick way to the public, you know? I mean, it don't get me too excited because I'm, I'm, I'm into the art. So I'm into what, looking at album covers and reading credits and opening CDs and, and vinyl like that, but we're losing that as no matter what, inevitable. So, I mean, it, it is what it is. I gotta embrace it, you know, that, that the technology company industry is a lot smarter than the music industry. I can dig it. Now, we got two more questions. We got about two and a half minutes left with Shaw Money. Shaw, two more questions for you, and then we're gonna let you go. I know you got a lot to do tonight. When you look back on how far you've come, what gives you the most joy with your career? What what makes you the most proud of what you accomplished? The decisions I made. Mm. The proudest thing is when I, I was one of the rap producers that worked with every rapper in Queens, New York, or New York, period. Definitely every rapper in Queens. So the best part of this was the fact that, um, you know, I made the decision to just stop working with everybody and focus on one and build a movement, and that movement is known as what is G-Unit. So I looked back and was really happy with the decisions. I had a lot of rappers coming to my basement at the same time if he was coming. And at one point I had to say, you know what, the long term could be off from coming here and not fucking want to work constantly with me and tie into this relationship, or do I want to just fucking have a little of a lot or a lot of a little? Mm. That's great. I'm gonna have a little, little, little lot, you know? That's cool. Now, let's let's we're gonna close it out on on the main purpose of this call, which is obviously the One Stop Producers Conference. Please, Sha, let let my listeners know how they can get involved, what's happening, where they gotta go, what's the website, and we got about thirty seconds. MoneyManagementXL.com is the site. MoneyManagementXL.com okay. MoneyManagementXL.com Come join up. You will get nothing but constant information on the latest technology, the dopest new artists. It's a whole producer world, but it's open to the whole world. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you'll, you'll see the trailer to my, my producer event and everything on my site. So just come join my world. And um, it's really for the people. It's really for entertainment. It's really for knowledge. It's like a school, you know? And Chad, what if I'm just like a regular... Regular dude from the burbs, but I'm kind of interested in the in producing. Is is the is this conference cool for me too? Would you say? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. It is definitely good for you because you'll learn a lot, and, and and you'll see how a real fraternity of producers can come in one building and get along without a problem. That's it. Scope TV, Shaw Money gets no better. We're gonna see everybody in Phoenix, Arizona, May 9th, May 10th at the Hyatt Regency in Phoenix. Shah, it's been an absolute pleasure. Scope TV, everybody have a good night.